Hey everyone, so it's Miss Brooke and Miss Emily. Emily. Um, we're so happy to see you guys. We're actually in Miss Emily's backyard right now, which is super cool. Um, we are about to harvest some fresh oranges as well as grapefruits. So before we start, uh, we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the values of the trees, um, a little bit about the plants itself, and some other facts. So to start us off, I wanted to let you all know that some of the things in the grocery stores aren't quite as readily available. So we wanted to show everybody how we can utilize our neighbors, our friends, things that are in our own yard to help boost our immune system. So in my backyard here, I have orange trees and grapefruit trees. So we are going to be picking these and I'm gonna leave it off to Brooke here. Yes, okay, so first off, grapefruits, oranges, and all citrus actually have tons of vitamin C and A in them, so that's really good for your system. They're immunity boosting. It's also a great form of antioxidants, which is awesome during this time of people getting sick and just always to have in your body. Um, so I'm gonna now start harvesting some oranges. So if you wanna come over and take a closer look, so just a tip when, oops, one just fell off on its own, cool. So when you're harvesting, you wanna be very careful and conscious that this is a living plant. So you don't wanna yank it and rip it and like be very violent with it. You just wanna simply clip the orange off. It comes off super easy. And if it doesn't, then just maybe try a different orange. If it's not coming off easily, then that means it's just not ready to be harvested. So don't keep pulling on it. It'll gently come off when it's ready. Yeah, see, so that's how it should be. Just a nice gentle pull and the orange should come off just like that. So over here, there are some grapefruits that I just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you can see them come under this tree. So these are some beautiful grapefruits. They're huge, they're ready to be picked. So the same thing with grapefruits, just be very gentle, pluck them. And that's pretty much it. It's super easy. Take advantage of the fruits that are uh, local to your area. Citrus is an awesome fruit in Arizona, so. Good afternoon, Montessori Academy. So this was a container of juice that we have already gone through and we kept it. So it's already empty has been rinsed out. So we're gonna reuse this after we make our own juice. So we are actually gonna be making some lemonade today. And Zoe, come on over here. The first thing you're gonna do before you cut the lemons, go ahead and grab a lemon. You wanna roll it back and forth on the counter. Just gently, it doesn't have to be difficult. Back and forth. And this kind of helps loosen up the juice and the skin from the lemonade so you get more juice from it. Okay, so then you're gonna put it on your cutting board and you're gonna carefully cut it right in half. Perfect. Okay, now you don't need, I have a KitchenAid, you do not need a KitchenAid. You can simply you can squeeze it through a strainer like this into a bowl. That is an option. Also, some of you just may have a handheld piece like this and you can simply go back and forth over here. But again, you need to keep it over a bowl. But since we have the KitchenAid, I am gonna go ahead and use this and slide it in. ahead and stick that on here and you got to turn the button on there Zoe You'll want to repeat this process and your goal is to make one cup of either the lemon juice or a cup of the orange juice and what we'll do from here once it is all put in here 
You will run it through a strainer like this into a bowl or a cup. This way, all the seeds, and I know a lot of kids don't like the pulp, and this will help drain all of that out, so then you just have clear juice. All right, so now we have exactly one cup of the lemon juice, so you're gonna add that into a clean, fresh bowl. Then you may add, depending on how much sugar you would like your kids to have or not have, as we know the fruit already has sugar in it. I prefer doing about a half a cup of sugar. lemon juice and then it will ask for six cups of water from and we can go ahead and fill this up four cups of water and two more cups of water to the bowl. And also two cups is also 16 ounces. And then we can simply stir. And you're gonna wanna stir this for a good three minutes because since the water is cold, the sugar is not going to dissolve as quickly and we want it to dissolve so we don't have a bunch of sugar residue in the bottom of our cup. Okay, so now we're going to do a final strain. And then we're going to go back to our reusable container. And we have a nice pour spout here. Let's pour this over the sink so we don't get mom and dad upset with sticky. Take our cup. All right. And let us know how it tastes. It's delicious. Thank you so much.